Wednesday 13th of July and we are shark fishing. Our first attempt at shark fishing on board days off two. As you can see we've got, there's our floats. My one's set at about 25 foot and I've got a whole mackerel flapper on there or a shark rig. Dave's is set to about 15 foot with those. Yeah. Let's so see where we are, see if we can change it. If we get any bites. We've got two tote rigs down. Miles is fishing with a tote rig, Edwin's fishing with a tote rig, and some Pringles. And um, yeah, we're about five or six miles off of the needles. Apparently it's quite good for sharks at this time of year. Poor beagles, maybe, maybe threshers. I think threshers might possibly be a bit further out. But anyway, we are here. We're gonna give it a go. So if we catch anything, I'll start filming. Yeah, stay tuned. So the chum line is down. First things first, the chum line is down. That's I thought you connect it to your rod. No, the chum goes in a laundry bag. Oh. We put it. Can you see like what a, like it looks like oil, doesn't it, coming yeah. off of it? I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Yeah, I can. But that seems to be working. So that's going to attract sharks. Sharks. And if it doesn't work, then what we we'll do is we'll just hang you overboard, Miles. No, you won't. I'll hang you Right, so. There's a shark. Let's start getting things ready. Miles, come down there, mate. Sorry. There's that, mate. Right, let's do this. Anyway, nothing yet. The only thing we did have is on the way down here, we um, took the bike off the trailer, put the trailer, hold on, Miles, put the trailer in the car park, and as we were pushing the trailer back into space, we noticed that one of the wheels was making the plane. Have a look at the wheel and realise that the wheel, wheel bearing, had completely shat itself for want of a better word. So we were in big trouble. I made various phone calls to try and see if there's anybody could come out and help us, but we didn't really have much luck. Anyway, we found, found one company and they said what you need to do is speak to this guy called Phil. Phil Bonnell, his name is, and the company is called Limington Rescue Services. And the guy could not have been, Phil could not have been more helpful. He took that, dropped the hub off, had a look at the bearing, realised the bearing broke, managed to get the bearing out, managed to source the same bearing. He's gone all the way to Bournemouth from Limington to pick me up the bearing. Then he's going to his friend's workshop where he's going to press the bearing out of the hub for me out of the drum and then he's going to fit it all back to my trailer all while we're out fishing. I've never met anyone so helpful. He's just been excellent. So that's Limiton Rescue Services. I'll put his contact details in the um, description. Oh, we're off. We are off. Yep, massive. Like a catfish or something. Shall I wind up though? Yeah. 
second box. Yeah, here he comes. Yeah, look, now he's fighting. Finish it, Edwin? Yeah. yeah, then. You see daylight, that's why. Then you draw it. That's it. Right. Go on, why did you go down? He's going to start. As soon as he starts seeing light, that's going to be a tone. He's not going to want to let go. Let's move out. David is in. Nice fish, right? You hold that. Twelve. Might be the same one then. Twelve. It's pretty much twelve. Yeah, it's twelve. 12. But it's not the same one because mine had a hole in its neck. Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? Throw it on my side so then I can catch it. <laughs> in the process of doing all this, I lost my bank. So um. Right. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Miles. Oh, right. Another tote. So I haven't caught a shark yet, but um, what I have done is put the bacon rolls on. So I've got this little Van Gogh induction hob that works beautifully with my little Hyundai power pack. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it basically gives me mains power while I'm out at sea. So no gas, I don't have to worry about setting lights or anything, which is quite nice. One thing I do have to worry about is drifting into anybody, but at the moment we're all okay. And yeah, got the bacon rolls on. Lunch will be served shortly. You can see how far we've drifted on there. Not that far. We're drifting at one point about one and a half knots. Uncle Dave caught um, a tote again. We caught two tote and some mackerel. All going good. No shark yet. Right, so no sharks. Where the Mars? No, no, no That's sharks. That's a waste of chum. Yeah, waste of chum. But two good sized tope, two 12 pound topes, and a bucket full of mackerel. I want to go Come around here. That. Come around here. Don't do that. Yeah, so, but a good day's fishing nonetheless. The trailer's all fixed now, so we're happy about that. So, yeah. On their way home now. Just had a quick, quick refreshment at the pub. <laughs> On their way home. Nice so yeah. Over there. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>